What if we told you that humans are on the verge of stepping foot on the moon once again? Yes, you heard it right. We're at the dawn of a new era of space exploration. The significance of this venture is monumental and it's all thanks to NASA's ambitious Artemis program. From launching missions using the Orion capsule and the Space Launch System rocket to exploring the moon's south pole, Artemis is our ticket back to lunar soil. The Artemis program is not just about returning to the moon, it's about pushing the boundaries of human exploration. Named after the Greek goddess of the moon, the Artemis program is NASA's Moon to Mars plan. The Artemis program is an ambitious endeavor designed to reignite our exploration of the moon and beyond. It's structured as a series of increasingly intricate missions, each building upon the other like a cosmic staircase to the stars. The first step on this staircase is Artemis I, an uncrewed test flight, a sentinel mission to scout the path ahead. Next comes Artemis II, a crewed flight that will take our astronauts around the moon, a voyage not undertaken by humans in over 50 years. The final step for now is Artemis III. This mission aims to land astronauts on the moon's surface, specifically targeting an area near the South Pole to explore potential water ice deposits. Each mission forms a crucial part of this grand plan, a celestial symphony with each launch and landing playing its part in the melody. The total cost of this symphony? A staggering $93 billion. But it's more than just a number. It signifies our unwavering commitment to understanding our universe. With an estimated cost of $93 billion, this program is a testament to our commitment to space exploration. Artemis Worst The first mission of the Artemis program is an uncrewed test flight that has already taken place. This maiden voyage of the Artemis program was a pivotal moment in our journey back to the Moon. Its purpose? To test the critical systems of the Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket without the risk to human life. During this voyage, Artemis I was sent on a trajectory to orbit the Moon, traveling further than any spacecraft designed to carry humans had ever gone. This journey of over a million miles was not just a physical journey, but a critical test of the Orion systems. Its heat shield withstood temperatures of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, demonstrating its ability to protect astronauts during future Moon return journeys. The mission also tested the Space Launch System rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built by NASA. This beast of a machine successfully propelled the Orion into space, demonstrating its ability to carry humans beyond low Earth orbit and onto the Moon. But Artemis I was more than just a test of hardware. It was a test of our ability to navigate and operate in deep space. It allowed us to gather invaluable data, which we used to refine our systems and pave the way for future crewed missions. Artemis Y was a resounding success. It proved that the Orion spacecraft and the Space Launch System rocket are capable of transporting humans to the moon. It showed us that we can navigate the challenges of deep space and most importantly, it gave us the confidence to move forward with our audacious goal. Artemis Y was the critical first step in making the dream of returning to the moon a reality. Artemis II will mark a significant milestone as it will be the first crewed flight of the program. This monumental voyage, slated for the year 2024, aims to send astronauts around the moon, even though they won't be touching down on the lunar surface just yet. Now you might wonder, why send a crew to simply orbit the moon and not land? Well, this mission is crucial in testing the mettle of our astronauts and the robustness of our technology in the harsh environment of deep space. It's an important dress rehearsal, if you will, before the grand performance of a lunar landing. Artemis II will have astronauts embarking on a multi-day journey traveling farther into space than any human has ever ventured before. This mission will test critical systems, validate the spacecraft's performance, and improve computer modeling for the eventual lunar landing. It's not just about taking that giant leap for mankind, but also making sure we can stick the landing when we do. But it's not all about the hardware, the crew's performance, their ability to live and work in space for an extended period, their resilience to the stresses of space travel will be under scrutiny. We need to ensure the safety and well-being of our astronauts as they prepare to undertake this incredible journey. So while Artemis II might not be making headlines with moonwalks and lunar selfies, do not underestimate its significance. It's a pivotal step in our lunar expedition, laying the groundwork for the future of human space exploration.
Artemis II is the bridge between testing our capabilities and making lunar landing a reality. The jewel in the Artemis program's crown is Artemis III, the mission that will return astronauts to the moon. This mission takes us one giant leap forward in our understanding of the universe, and more importantly, our place within it. Artemis III has a distinct objective, unlike any other lunar missions before. The astronauts won't be landing just anywhere on the moon. They are heading towards the South Pole. This location has been chosen with a specific purpose in mind, to explore the water ice deposits that have been discovered there. Now you may wonder, why is finding water on the moon such a big deal? Well, water is not only crucial for life as we know it, but it can also be used as a resource in space exploration. Water can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, two elements that can be used for rocket fuel. Therefore, these ice deposits could potentially become a fuel station for future missions further into space. But Artemis III is not just about finding water, it's about establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon. The mission aims to test new technologies, systems, and operational procedures that could be used for future explorations. It's about learning how to live and work on another celestial body and how to utilize the resources available there. The implications of this mission are huge. Successful completion of Artemis III would not only mark our return to the moon, but it would also lay the groundwork for our next big leap, Mars. This mission is a stepping stone, a crucial part of the journey that will eventually take us to the Red Planet and who knows, maybe even beyond. Artemis III is not just about landing on the moon, it's about setting the stage for our journey to Mars and beyond. The Artemis program is more than just a series of missions. It's a symbol of our commitment to exploring the unknown. Its legacy extends far beyond the lunar surface, setting the stage for a new era of space exploration. The Artemis program has opened doors for international collaborations, fostering a sense of global unity as we reach for the stars. It's not just about returning to the moon, but also about paving the way for future missions, perhaps even to Mars and beyond. Remember, the Artemis program is not the end of our space exploration journey, but rather it's just the beginning.